Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We're back here with XCOM 2 War of the Chosen, back to deliver indiscriminate justice towards alien scum. Let's first start out with something people are requesting, making these guys look a lot less dumb. Storica. Yeah. That works out pretty well, for I now, anyways. For wanting to keep an eye on Tigan. But at this point, we need all the help we can get. There we go. Sonny looks a lot cooler. Mind you, a lot of these are not going to need to be doing anything because, well, they're tired. And here's the thing, that's sort of the thing they added so, like, you can't just keep using the same guys over and over. You're forced, in fact, you know, splitting them up a bit. But, basically means, again, you're sort of forced into rotations. I mean, you can still do it, but the thing is, they're more likely than to sort of you panic and for, well, pretty much any reason, actually. They've sort of overhauled that part of the game. Problem is, which I suppose in some way actually reflects the original XCOM more. The problem is, they haven't, you know, sort of added the other bits, which is, you know, you get a lot more people permission because I still think it's one of the defining features of XCOM 1. The sheer expendability of your personnel, like again, you'd just be sending in your large units and they just get evaporated by the enemy. You know, you'd suffer heavy losses, and that sort of thing also part of the XCOM charm. And again, also to an extent, you know, would also do make slightly darkest dungeon works, though of course it's still only four men, but there's a greater degree of expendability, but you don't quite feel those present here in XCOM 2 and XCOM 2 War the Chosen still. But, you know, that's just me. Oh, sort of fixing up slightly there. We'll sort of take it from there. We shall take it from there. We got two wounded, but the rest are pretty much bloody tired. Commander, now that members of the resistance factions have joined us on the ring, but we can't build anything. We might want an area where you can meet to organize and plan future operations together. We need resources. Uh, all right, the grab the scientists because getting research done is always pretty damn good. You want those boffins, you know, researching things. The outcome of this research can only further our advances, Commander. Commander, the science team has grown particularly interested huh. in this field of research. Oh, we're so going to grab that if it's inspired. Exploration could lead to vast I mean, it's still going to take time, missions. but However, it's going to be faster. We Plus, once you get the extra scientists done, it's going to be even faster. So, are uh, we are all incentivized towards doing that. Applications stemming from this technology. Yeah. I'll have a report assembled as soon as the research is complete. Down to nine days, meaning I can actually pretty fast get out some magnetic weapons, which is going to be quite helpful and quite painful for our opponents. Contact, we'll the aliens. The for the right, we'll take Western U.S. We'll Simply because it gives us more supplies, and obviously we want supplies. We find them, we'll be up and running in the new region. Commander. Using intel collected so far, we've met. Now operation. Right, and increase squad sizes. We both of them. Ha ha ha. We're the Brits. Ooh. Burn. XCOM 2. We just made the Brits. Nothing on the. Commander, we have a squad ready right. to move on the return. Time to fight some. Under siege by the aliens. Nasty Give people the doing we'll nasty things. Our next operation will put us right in the middle of chosen territory, Commander. There's a good chance they'll show up to interfere, so we should plan accordingly. I don't need a lot of snipers. Uh, guess we just toss in more rookies. Sadly, we weren't quite able to get the magnetic weapons ready in time. That would have been pretty great for us. Oops, a bit too far down there. Go. And we need our heavy weapons guy as well to look a bit more decent. There we go. Nicely themed and everything. Tillage uh, items available. Flashbang and smoke. Right, 
that should allow us to close in and do some damage. And what not. Do I have the battle scanner yet? No, I do not. That's a bit unfortunate. Helps quite a bit in case the assassin decides to appear. Sky Ranger, did We're in the pipe. Being able to just flash you out with that one helps a ton. Aha! Uh, oh! Oh, hello! I, I, I see you see me! Oh, I'm the big scary assassin! And you're the people with an awful lot of guns! Oh, clown shoes! You made some modifications to these missions, so like there's a chance basically now you're not deserve to run about seeing them all. Assault on the resistance encampment in this area. Our people are doing what they can to fight back, but we need to help protect the civilians trapped nearby. Yeah, this is sort of one of the new situations there where there's actually resistance fighters about actually fighting. They're not very good, but they help you by time and they can actually distract, in some cases, kill the Atman chaps. So that is uh, pretty neat, actually. That is pretty neat. And certainly makes a bit more sense to know that, hey, this resistance camp actually got, you know, resistance chaps in it. Already there. Rather than just somehow being conveniently abandoned. Orders confirmed. On the move. On Overwatch. Uh, take the shot. Nice. Hostile neutralized. What goes the weasel? I'm on it. Oi, you guys, stop shooting at us. We're just trying to kill you. There's nothing wrong in that. You humans kill each other all the time. Notice they're not exactly, you know, the commander elite. But they can buy you time just, you know, slowly whittle down the numbers. So they're quite handy. They're quite handy. And again, it just sort of makes the whole thing feel, you know, overall terms and aesthetic, you know, better. Because again, you're not just, hey, what's everybody up to? Where did all the resistance people go? Did they just casually abandon their camp? What a bunch of pricks. Well, no point in blowing that one up. That'd be a bit pointless. Pop a grenade. Fire in the hole. There we go. make the job that much easier but it helps a tad you can do it good lord Come on, focus. all right take another shot can country yeah negative damage guess i'm expecting too much from the french i go where you tell me You can do it. Sort of. Ah, pretty close action not being revealed there, but can't have anything, I suppose. In this case, more concerned with killing Advent. civilians. Advent isn't backing off. They've got units in the AO that are ignoring our forces just to get a better shot at the civilians. Take those bastards down. Good lord. Obviously missed. I'm just shooting in all directions. I hope I got one of these fancy smart rifles. They haven't been invented, dumbass. They haven't? Oh no, I made a big mistake. Yes you have, Lawrence. Yes you have. You made a massive mistake. 
we're not sure why we put you into the resistance in the first place. Nor her. Come on, that was an easy hit. There we go. No compromises. Pop goes the weasel. You can do it. Never trust a Norwegian. That's what I always say. Well, not really, but I actually heard that once from a tourist. Oh, I heard it more specifically. Don't trust Norwegians. Funny thing is, apparently from Canada too, which makes it a bit weird since they're normally known for being polite. But apparently, Canadians have an innate distrust of Norwegians. Something like that. Missed. That is not good. That is indeed not good. And it's the opposite of good. Ah! Well, at least he's not a civilian. Resistance fighters, the true expendables of this game. There's a large group of civilians pinned down within range of your position. Sensors indicate hostile forces. And as you might notice, that it sort of moves ahead you of you, no matter what. Of course. The surviving resistance members can then, of course, move ahead to support if you sort of, you know, get them there in one piece. Come on, do it! Yes! Target disabled. Target. Well, I would say more than disabled, I'd say dead. They're moving to help the other survivors. I would say quite dead. Now, of course, we have to catch up. We have to catch up. I'll be there soon. Double time. Just gonna grab those items since they tend to help. I've got it. So we got about five resistance fighters to take on whatever the aliens toss at us next. We got four resistance fighters to take on whatever comes at us next. Hit. They also serve another purpose, which can actually tell you, you know, how many enemies you have to deal with because they usually sort of act as spotters that sense. So, the resistance fighters are quite handy in many ways. And there you go, they actually killed a trooper for us. Two troopers, in fact. I believe that only leaves two lancers. Moving out. Things just got a lot bloody easier for us. A lot bloody easier. Let's do this. Closing on target position now. Copy that. Just pop back into the shadows. There's more movement as well, allowing us to advance much faster. I'll also speak out ahead of the rest of the force if need be. That's quite what the Reaper I think is best as, just to scout, they can just advance and sort of check out for flanking elements or anything else that's just making things a lot bloody easier. Alright. One down. So we get two lances sort of moving about there. Creeping about like the Oh, never mind. Feet. Do that one a bit. Oh, at this rate, there won't be anything left for me to kill, which is mildly problematic because I kind of want some meant to gain experience but there you go that's two stun lines oh stun lines are down there my god these resistance fighters are out doing XCOM Good 
Honestly, in that sense, again, the Resistance Fighters, again, probably represent old school XCOM more than anything, but you know. Volk says I am to obey. Yeah, that's Advent deployed non-lethal stun units for crowd control and the occasional protest. We don't see a whole lot of that anymore. Affirmative! Covering now! Come on, kill him! Yes! He actually got one kill. Certainly determined. But also mostly dead by now. Oh, that's not in the stun launcher. That's. Oh. How many do they have there, I wonder now? Alright. So that's one stun lancer left. The rest of the stun lancers, plus the troopers, have largely been killed by the resistance fighters. Oh, oh, good job, lads. Good job. Oh wait, there's still the infiltrator thing. Man, be faceless. We've heard rumors about some kind of shapeshifters. I'm guessing this is it. I guess we can take care of it. Orders confirmed. Moving out. Get in line of sight. Missed. Shock valve to connect. I have no ammunition. Got revealed. The shadows save us. How unfortunate. Confirmed. Yes. One more hit and that thing's gonna go down like a huge pile of, Out of goo. Heading there now. You can do it. Kill it. Yes, victory. Menace one five, you secured the remaining civilians and there are no other hostiles. Despite the destruction left in their wake, XCOM refuses to let go of the ways of the old world. The old they world. Their Nothing boosts morale like a few dead aliens. We got more than our share today. A ranger. Long watches. Neat. Um, we got another ranger. We got two shotguns. People now. Swords. Excellent work, Commander. Your efforts continue to bolster the resistance movement. Yes, I'm quite aware I'm low supplies, but that will soon be taken care of Commander, since there's like one you day for establish it. contact with the local resistance network as soon as possible. The aliens are undoubtedly moving forward with their plans. Their plans. Their planning plans. Got an urgent communication coming in for you now, Commander. I had high hopes for the resistance under your leadership, Commander, and you have outdone yourself. The Chosen are a tough group to infiltrate, but we've managed to gather intel on their latest actions. We have a rough idea of how close each is to reaching their ultimate goal of locating the Avenger. Commander, we have intel suggesting the aliens are working on developments that threaten our ability to stop the Avatar project. We can conduct guerrilla operations to disrupt one of these efforts, but we'll have to choose carefully. We don't have the resources to intercede everywhere. Commander, the factions have there pledged their support to XCOM, and they're ready to carry out your orders. As our influence with these groups increases, our capabilities yes, will grow. Yes, we kind of need the supplies first. We're down to only seven. Sounds like my Reapers can take on some new orders. Commander, 
We'll need to send our own soldiers out to work with the resistance factions. That's sort of the end the issue again. It just sort of cut deep, keeps you all of a sudden just get all these things to do, all these explanations. And if you only play the game once, it's just sort of superfluous and more annoying than anything. Let's just hope your people can keep up. Commander, the resistance has a hidden cache of resources stashed outside of Advent's reach. That means we'll have to fly over and scan the area if we want to recover this stuff for our system. There we go, magnetic weapons. Pretty fast, actually. If we intend on discovering the purpose of the ship we extracted from you, we'll need to conduct the appropriate research as soon as possible. Commander, during the course Played of the research, is a bit further we made off. a startling breakthrough that has led us to another potential avenue of study. However, if we are to proceed down this path, well, considering we're about to upgrade so those, that's not going to help us one bit. So let's go for and buy a tick instead. To to it in the future. I had assumed you'd make that research a priority, Commander. I'll uh, notify you as soon as the report is available. Need alloys. Need alloys. The bond between these soldiers continues to grow. They can gain additional tactical strengths if they continue their training together. Commander, many of our soldiers can improve the strength of their bonds if we give them a place to train. Uh, we could go for the training center, but I'd rather have the resistance ring, I suppose. We recover an item from an advent facility. We're getting a lot of supplies though. Can we counter the alien infiltrator event? For sector eight. All right. Mexico. Let's head out. I think that looks pretty well. Off. Let us immediately strike fear into the hearts of the aliens, as they know nowhere is safe. Nowhere is sufficiently guarded enough with an easy difficulty attached to it. In fact, the aliens would probably consider it not attaching difficulty tags to the areas. This is an easy difficulty zone. Please, citizens, do not be alarmed. It only means few of us will easily die. Easy difficulty zones are safe zones. Opportunity to stop their progress, so we're moving to capture those assets. Neutralize any hostile contacts nearby and secure the area. Menace one five. We've got a bead on the advent data vault near your position. Be advised, self detonating charges are in place at the target. Move to disarm and extract the package before its contents are destroyed. Orders confirmed. On the move. Looks like hostiles over here. Right, that is good to know. We don't want to rile those up before Mrs. Heading Zane. to that location. Mm. I'm just going to say no watch. Assume they will be... Ah, right. oh, crud. Moving into my line of fire slightly misclick there. And let me just sort of cut way. them apart there, since if they just went to an Overwatch, they won't be able to react, so just being on Overwatch and thusly murder, murder, kill mode will do the trick for us. That is, if they move into our general direction. If not, again, no biggest deal. Okay. Need to kill them in one go. Okay. Roger. I've got my eyes on. Affirmative. Covering now. Moving out. Affirmative. Covering now. Eyes on the prize. Going for the sec touch since that's the bigger threat, obviously. Gonna take the most hits to go down to softening that one should be sick. <laughs> I 
I like how the other guy just sort of cuts into this action scene. Wow. None of them hit like the other guy. He just falls back here. Good. Sniper did the job. Rolling. Slow lance. It would seem yep. admin has I saw the stun lance at the next to it, so didn't want to, you know, run too far ahead. Be on support of others. So we also got this priest, which is basically their psionic sky. Heading there now. Time to flash and bang. Fire in the hole. That affirmative. That should pretty much lock down their abilities and make them easier to deal with. They'll shoot a bit, but uh, they won't be very accurate either. I mean, they can still do damage, but they're less likely to do it. Unless, of course, they land a critical hit. Wow! That didn't work out. Advent forces moving in our position. It's not quite as well as I'd hoped. Let's see if the sniper can't do the trick. Be good. Target eliminated. Oh, snap. We're still not entirely sure if they're fully automated or remotely triggered. Well, we have a solution for that. We have what is known as a solution for that. If we can get close enough. That is... Headed there now. There we go. That's the weakness of those turrets. If you remove their footing, well, they got no footing. Well, they're dropping them down below, so they should be easily dealt with. Since they're going to be easy targets. If they remain down there, that is. We'll be getting a fat accuracy bonus against them. The problem is the priest. Okay, some of them remain. The leader chap does not. Stasis. Menace one five. Clock is ticking. That detonator isn't going to wait. Get to the vault and disarm it before we run out of time. Well, we have to reposition our snipers since he's outflanked. Good copy. Moving on target. Right, priest down. Kill confirmed. Right. 
I'm down. On the move. Hopefully he hits. He does, but it's not quite enough. He's somehow still alive. That's good. That is good. There, catch. Suddenly they found themselves a bit leaderless. Yes. One thing at a time. I'll take a look. Yeah. No luck. Would be nice that faster scanning time. Like four weeks. That's pretty good. Attempting infiltration. Got it. The gear is secure. Menace one five. Status confirmed. The charges are inactive and the package is secure. Eliminate any remaining hostiles near the AO. On Overwatch. Location confirmed. Already there. Apparently those chaps up north are not on any apparent high alert, they're just sort of... Well, we've heard some explosions, a lot of gunshots, alarms are ringing, dropships arrive with reinforcements, probably nothing big, you know, just, just your usual drill, right? On on it. Oh, he needs to heal himself up, though. Healer mode. Ready to go. Heading there now. Come on. Just need to get everybody ready for my head and get they here. might still walk towards it, you know? They might still, you know, somehow end up investigating, you know, going Well at least by accident stumbling in here. I don't know. We'll do. So far. No sign of the uh Roger that. Courageous foe. I've got eyes on admin troops. There we go. Far, far away, patrolling the northern perimeter of the studio. Ooh la la. Secured. Gloriously so. Down and the area is secure. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. 
and to spite the destruction left in their wake. XCOM refuses to let go of the ways of the old world. They will continue their wanton and reckless crime. I briefly read it there, Solenia. For those that catch that one. Hello, Commander. So, did that give us any allies? I can't yeah. quite remember. It did not. It did not. been digging through some of the old data files Central has been holding on to since before the war. I wow, fear of missed shots, that's... New objectives added. Commander, we've established contact with the local resistance and we're ready to move on the alien black site on your order. Advent's been keeping this facility a closely guarded secret. We should make sure our troops are ready for a tough fight before we send them out there. It looks like we've got our work cut out for us, Commander. Right, right. The cooperation of these extremists will do little to unite the forces of your resistance, Commander. Well, I could aim for supplies. Reduce contact cost is an interesting one long term. I might like to be a pretty good Avenger idea. Plotting new course. Got plenty of supplies to get more, but reduce contact cost will over allow me to advance farther faster. Going for that one. I'm glad to see our joint effort paid off like we hoped. There we go. Our friends in the resistance have helped to pinpoint the location of our missing soldier. We finally got a lead on where the chosen have been holding our soldier captive. Time we That'll get be our next goal. Commander, Saving our skirmisher war, friend, as he is very, that. very good. We'll have to be ready to engage the enemy during But this is slightly tricky mission if anything goes remotely wrong. So, but I think we'll be stopping here. Made some games though, and soon next mission we'll be getting the skirmisher, which is probably I think out of the three sort of resistance hero characters, they're the best one, at least in my personal opinion. I mean, the Reaper's good, the Templar's nice, but just the skirmisher just is far better than any of the others so looking forward to getting him into my team because he is damn damn good so thank you all for joining for this little episode I hope you enjoyed it liked it if you didn't you know, subscribe like share and comment on it share it and of course a big thanks to my patreon supporters which this episode would not be possible so of course a big thanks to them and of course if you'd like to support me in fact i'd appreciate it you know consider donating or pledging on patreon yourselves links are in the video description this is imperial dane signing off and we're back in another two days time Cheers.